Now, as a lot of you may know, the TV movie gave us Whovians a bit of a dilemma when it was announced the Doctor was half human. There has been a few attempts to explain away this error, but I believe I may have come up with a brand new answer. And in order to explain this little theory of mine, let's jump right to the moment before the Master made the startling revelation. In the TARDIS, the Master has used Lee to open the Eye of Harmony. This causes the newly regenerated Doctor to remember who he is and he kisses Grace. Back in the TARDIS, the Master and Lee discover that the Doctor has a new face. And it's here where the Master tells us the Doctor is half human because of his retinal structure. But in order to doubt this statement, let's jump ahead to the new Who episode, Smith and Jones. Here the Jadoon have removed a hospital from Earth and have taken it to the moon so they can search for an alien criminal. The Doctor is also looking for this criminal and in order to give himself some more time to find her, he kisses Martha. But it's no ordinary kiss, it's actually a genetic transfer that tricks the Jadoon into thinking Martha is not human. This means whilst the Jadoon are chasing Martha, the Doctor can go about his business and confront the alien criminal by himself. Jumping further ahead, let's go to Donna's explanation to how she became the Doctor Donna. In Journey's End, Donna says, that was a two-way biological meta-crisis. Half Doctor, half Donna. Now taking those two pieces of strenuous evidence, let's mash them together and try to fit it into the jigsaw puzzle plot hole which is the half-human Doctor. Maybe, just maybe, when the Eighth Doctor kissed Grace, he inadvertently caused a two-way biological genetic transfer. This meant, for a brief moment, he seemed part human, whilst Grace seemed part Time Lord. So when the Master saw the retinal structure of the eye, what he was actually seeing was a combination of two eyes. One belonging to the Doctor, the other belonging to Grace. And whilst it may not be the most convincing argument ever, it's all I've got.